Learning the trumpet as a kid, I remember I first started learning dynamics with crescendo, decrescendo, piano, piano. Uh, basically, the volume uh, or amplitude of the, the note and, and the piece of music, or uh, how you should be playing that that measure or that part, softly, loudly, gaining volume, decreasing volume. Um, these dynamics are what really give that emotion to a piece of music. Uh, without them, yeah, you still kind of, I guess, get the point across, but it's like you almost don't get the feeling of that that piece of music, you know, and the true essence of what it's really trying to convey to you. Um, I've always approached the guitar um, in, that, in that same vein, that, that same way of, of thinking that the dynamics um, are, are, are a crucial part of getting my music inside out on this instrument. Uh, my music, personally, and I believe almost all music, it, it's very emotional. Um, music without emotion, is that even really music? Um, I mean, that's, I'm trying to get this feeling out of me uh, in, in a way that I can't express with words or on paper, or with writing, um, but through music, it, I, I can. Um, and without that understanding of dynamics and how they play a factor into how that music, piece of music comes across, I, I don't think I could ever convey what I'm trying to feel inside now. And, and that, that's why I kind of noticed that a lot of players who have started, you know, when they first started playing guitar, they, they've started playing on an electric. I must be the only guitarist that I know personally, among my friends and acquaintances, who didn't start playing an electric guitar first. I, yeah, classical guitar is the first guitar I started playing. Uh, that's just the guitar that was laying around at my very good friend's house that I, I grew up grew up at and they were all musicians and they had classical guitars playing around that's the first one I scrapped and started messing around with it. Um, it. It was many, many, many years after that that I picked up an electric guitar and started playing an electric guitar. And to this day it doesn't I don't feel like it's it suits me that well. I mean I just don't feel like it's that's not like the instrument for me is that's not how I get my sound and music out on an instrument. The pedals and amps and settings, they still kind of like, they can still kind of like, they're kind of alien to me and I don't know very much about them. Uh, 
and I love the Telecaster because it's just the volume, tone, switch, three, three positions. It's like my favorite electric guitar because it's so simple. I don't, I don't, I don't want all that. Um, and, and I realized like that my, my, my sound, a lot of, of my music and the sound I got a guitar, it's a lot of it's just my, the dynamics that I involve in my playing. And it's the dynamics that I don't really see a lot of guitar players using, especially the ones that started out with an electric guitar. Um, I don't know if it's amp and the effects or whatnot drowns that out or makes you not focus on it. And maybe it's the acoustic guitar that kind of like forces you to use dynamics to, to get your, your point across but a lot, a lot of times I also kind of feel like a lot of electric guitar playing that I hear even on the professional level and very very famous like groups and musicians it, it, it sounds stale to me I, I I I just don't feel I don't hear that emotion in it it could be technically very impressive and sound and you know coherent but sometimes it's like almost robotic some some players and I mean, you either get what I'm saying or you don't. Um, and when it comes to especially the robotic playing or, or feeling that emotion through it, you either get what I'm saying or I don't. And But my point is the dynamics are a huge, huge, huge part of getting that emotion conveyed in, in your tone in a guitar. Um, in, in the way I look at amps and pedals and electric guitar, all that is to me is a way to do, enhance my dynamics and accent my dynamics or just make my dynamics a little more vibrant or powerful. Without the dy dynamics, the, 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 those pedals, amps, effects, this is useless. What's, what's the point of it? If, if, if you're just playing really stale, same amplitude the whole way through, all that distortion is doing is just going to distort that one level, one very bland and plain level. I know I'm just like strumming cowboy chords here. And what I'm saying is like even the most basic Dynamic in it. 